Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I am a 40 something year old mother of three beautiful girls. I work full time, my husband works full time, and we sometimes do a side hustle together. We do DoorDash every now and then. Um, this channel is all about budgeting, saving, paying off debt. I do some planning, I open up happy mail, I love stickers, I love planning, I love budgeting, all the things with that. Um, if this is something that you might be interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you join me in this family. So I am going to do my budget with me for the week of the 28th of January through the 3rd. But first I'm going to reconcile last week's or the current week really technically. So um, my husband did get paid $8.50 and we had that $4.42. It was kind of wonky, but I'm going to be doing like a monthly overview update. Um, I do it at the beginning of the month and I'm going to do it at the end of the month so we can actually see, see all the real numbers, everything, um, things like that. So anyways, that comes down to $12.92. Um, life insurance did come out for $19. Kohl's I paid for $50. Lunches I put $60 towards. And I did put $100 towards Discover. I did not have that on my list last week, but I did go ahead and do that. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add these all up because that number is different now. 229. So we take 1292 minus 229, which leaves us 1063. Oops, 1063. All right, moving that down here to my cash envelopes. Um, and we did do all of these, which ends up being 395 which left us with 668. And we did do the sinking funds for 295. So we'll subtract that off of there, which was 373. I am doing something different this month because I am leaving money into our buffer. Um, it kind of as a savings for a new washer and dryer because my washer when it is in the spin cycle sounds like it's trying to um, take off like a launch pad to the moon it is ridiculous I, li I my bedroom is just down the hall by three feet i would say from the laundry room and it is so loud i can't be on the phone with anybody in my bedroom it's ridiculous if i'm downstairs in my living room i can hear it it is awful i think the bearings are going out i, I don't know but it's been, we've had it for seven years and we use the heck out of it because we have, you know, a busy family of five. And so, yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be, it's on its last leg right now. And I absolutely hate my washer anyways, because it is a front load and it's, it's just, it's not my favorite. So that's what we're going to save up for. So all, any money rolling over at the end of the month is going to go to a special savings account for buying that washer and dryer. So all right, so now we're going to do the week of January 28th through February 3rd. Please raise your hand if you cannot believe it's the end of January already. I, I'm just dumbfounded by it. Um, I'm happy on one hand because that means winter is that much closer to being over with because I am 100% sick of snow. We're supposed to be having more snow tomorrow and we still have probably a good six inches of snow on the ground. I, I don't know where they're going to put it. So anyways... Um, all right, so my husband got paid eight. I'm putting 850 in. He got paid more than that because he does have overtime, but um, we put any extra uh, towards um, our debt snowball. So, and then I, my income is 1566. And then I am, I have my envelope here. This is my debt snowball envelope. You, if you've watched my videos before, um, are f you're familiar with it, but I should have $411 here. 51, 52, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 400, 510, and 11. So it's $411 that I'm going to put in the bank. Um, putting other here. And that is going to go towards my Amazon credit card that I'm paying off. That is the focused uh, debt snowball right now. So that's what we're going to do. So I want to total these up here. 2827. Just want to double check that to make sure that's right. 2827 is correct. Okay, so for bills this week, 
we have our cell phone. Technically, this is the bill that was due uh, for January for previous, you know, for whatever that billing cycle is, but it ends on the 29th. But because of where the date falls, I'm paying it this week. So that is 319. Um, I'm gonna pay Apple 180. Uh, let's see, school lunches, 60, mortgage, 700, cloud is two, life 360 is three, recurring security fee is two, bark box. 33 and then Amazon is going to go extra debt over here. I'm just going to write it in because I have it on my list and I want to make sure I don't forget that. So 411. Okay, so let's add these up here. Total is 12.99. I'm going to add them up again just in just to make sure because life is the way it is. Twelve ninety nine. Okay, so two eight two seven minus twelve ninety nine is fifteen twenty eight. Bring that down here. Let me move this cash out of the way so I don't drop it over the edge. And that always totals up to 395, so 395, which leaves us 1133. So we will bring that up here. If you are interested in these sheets, I do have them on my Etsy site. Um, I always seem to forget to mention that, but I do create these sheets myself, and there's lots of different backgrounds you can choose from. Um, but my Etsy shop link is in the description box below. I would love if you checked it out. They are inexpensive. You can, they're, um, digital downloads so you can print them from home and you can print them as many times as you want and um but yeah i would love if you if you um checked it out so and then sinking funds is 295 so we'll subtract that from here 838 is what we have left over and then we'll subtract that 411 which leaves us 427 oops And this 427 will go to rollover. It's a new month. And that leaves us with that zero base budget. And that's um, always my goal every month. Some money goes just directly into savings. And that's, like, like I said, we're doing that with our washer and dryer, hoping to get that like, new one um, purchased very soon because, again, um, my thing is going to go orbiting the moon here soon. So. Um, I appreciate all the well wishes that you had the last couple of weeks for I had a sick daughter with the flu and then I had myself who had the flu and then um, my middle daughter got hurt at wrestling. She is fine. She landed. She pretty much got tossed over this boy's head and unfortunately where we are from, yes, we have girls wrestling but um, sometimes they have to wrestle boys because of weight class and she weighs like 105 pounds. She's this tall skinny little thing and um she got tossed over and she landed she tried to break her fall with her wrist and then she fell and hit her elbow and then the brunt of it hit her shoulder and we weren't 100 i didn't think it was broken but you didn't know if there was any sort of separation we didn't know anything like that took her in got her x-rays she is perfectly fine just a it, just a sore shoulder just sore muscle she's taking it easy she had wrestling practice last night and she'll have it again tonight she's just being very careful with it um you know icing it you know taking tylenol as needed for the pain um, but she's a tough cookie and i'm super proud of her and she, since she's 14 she got to take her permit test and she passed so I have two drivers in my house right now, and I don't, I, I don't know, um, I don't know if there's enough gray hairs in the world from the he my head because it is, oh, yeah, it's crazy. I cannot believe that I have two kids old enough to drive, and um, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you'd like. I hope you have a great day. Bye.